What's up guys, my name is Christian, and before we even get into the meat and potatoes of this video, this video is actually a collaboration with Andrea Joy, who is a cover singer and a good friend of mine, and I'll put a link to her channel in the description down below, as well as in an end card at the end of this video. She has a beautiful voice, and has a lot of awesome song covers, so be sure and go check her channel out. You will definitely not be disappointed if you are into cover songs and just interested in singers and things of that nature so yeah be sure and go check your channel out so galatians 5 22 through 23 says the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control now a lot of people think that these are nine separate fruits of the holy spirit but this is actually not true. Think of these as seeds that make up the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Nine distinct seeds that make up the same fruit, kind of like the Godhead, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. An important thing to note is that everyone who has the fruit of the Holy Spirit has all nine of these seeds within them, albeit some need to be watered, for lack of a better analogy, more than others. But we do have all nine of them within us, and as you probably guessed, they are in complete contradiction with our sinful nature. Something to think about is, how do we water this fruit and make it into a bigger fruit that gives us more? Well, to understand that, we need to understand that we are not the ones who do the watering. God does the watering. He does the planting. He does the maintaining. He does everything. So the only way to get water for the fruit of the Holy Spirit is, of course, to commune with the Holy Spirit and to get closer to God. But as I'm sure I don't have to tell you, that is much easier said than done since we have something that I like to call the fruit of sin also within us. And that fruit of sin wants nothing more than to completely destroy and devour the fruit of the Holy Spirit and in turn devour us and completely destroy us. However, if we let God water the fruit of the Holy Spirit instead of trying to water it ourselves, which will only let the fruit of sin grow, the fruit of sin will not overcome the fruit of the Holy Spirit, since darkness cannot overcome the light of God. There are also other attributes that are not listed in this verse that are listed in other places in the Bible, such as the Beatitudes, such as meekness that fall into one or more of these categories, like meekness would probably fall into peace. So I hope you guys got at least a basic understanding of the Holy Spirit and the fruit that it bears, and I know that this video was considerably shorter than most of my videos, but I felt that a lot of it was self-explanatory, so there wasn't all that much to say. And as I said earlier, this was a collaboration with Andrea Joy, so be sure and go check her channel out. Extremely talented girl, beautiful voice, and that is my dog whining for some reason. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go check her channel out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.